Hey! In this video I want to show you how easy it is to create great renderings of your 3D map with the 3D Mapper Importer add-on for Blender. First you need a free Blender installation file, the 3D Mapper Importer add-on and a 3D Mapper account with at least one map credit to download the add-on. Find all links in the description below. Let's get started. Open Blender. Browse to edit then preferences in the main menu to install the add-on. Click on add-ons then install and navigate to the download folder on your computer. Select the zip file and click install add-on. For activating the add-on, enable the checkbox. Hit N on your keyboard. Now the 3D Mapper add-on will appear in the right sidebar. If you haven't created a map yet, log in to 3dmap.com and click Create 3D Map. Search for the desired location in the Location Browser. Choose your preferred texture layer. Select the map section you want and click Create 3D Map. Customize the map according to your wishes. Add markers or labels. Those can also be imported to Blender later. Choose an edge texture. If you are happy with your map, click buy this map. For downloading the map, navigate to your maps then downloads. Choose Export. As Export Quality select High. Click GLB to download the map. Switch to Blender and select Import Map in the add-on. Navigate to your map and select it. You can import the map with or without markers and labels. Important, all elements in the scene will be deleted during the import process. Done! The map is imported and you can start a first test rendering. Select the small camera symbol on the right. The displayed image section is that section that will be rendered. Select quick render in the add-on and click OK. Depending on the performance of your computer it will take a while until the rendering is finished. To get a better insight into what I am doing, you can see which mouse and keyboard buttons I am using in the right corner. Select the small camera symbol to show the rendering section. This is the current camera position. Alternatively, you can also click 0 in the numpad. To set a new section click Ctrl plus Alt plus 0. The newly set camera section will now be rendered. In the add-on there are 4 different light presets available. The default set is a 3-point lighting. Of course all light source are adjustable. Sunrise, afternoon and sunset simulate a realistic lighting and can be adjusted easily.
You can also choose a background color, but it can only be used with default lighting. Also, the color of the ground plate can be changed easily. With a click on the default camera, the camera settings are reset. Turntable camera creates a rotation loop. In that process the camera rotates 360 degrees around the map. The loop can be rendered as a video. There will be a an extra tutorial for how to render the animation. Hit space bar or the play button in the timeline to start the camera rotation. Click on the camera symbol or hit zero on the numpad to show the camera section. The timeline can also be used to align the camera position. Depth of field is a simple tilt shift effect that focuses on the center of the surface mesh. The intensity is editable. The quick render has four options that can be useful depending on how you want to use the render result. Render with ground plane. Render without ground plane. Render with transparent background and without ground plane. Render with transparent background and with ground plane. The add-on contains 16 additional elements that you can use to design your map. To add an element, first select it and then click Add Element. To scale the element, select it and click S. Drag with the mouse to change the size. To position the element, first switch to top view via the menu or by clicking 7 in the numpad. Click G to move the element. Place it on the desired position. Turn the map to a sideways position for placing the element in the vertical. Click G again to move, then Z to move the element on the Z axis. Rotate the map into different positions to check if the element is placed correctly. For rotating the element itself, switch back to top view via 7 in the numpad. Click R to rotate and drag with the mouse. Place the label in the same way.
To edit the text, select the label and switch to the edit mode via tab on the keyboard or via the menu. Now you can edit the text. More font settings can be made in the object data properties on the right. Also the colors of the elements can be changed. Select the element and switch to material properties. Select the base color of the material and change the color and other properties as you like. About the material settings there will be another in-depth video soon. Thanks for watching. Please visit us at 3dmapper.com.